the channel. So as you can see in the last episode, I got this thing partially stripped down. We're getting really close to finalizing this mower, but there's a few things I'd like to change about it that I don't really like. And in particular, that's the steering. In the earlier episodes, guys, I kind of overcomplicated the steering. I have a whole bunch of linkages here. So I'm actually going to be ditching the linkages and going to a rack and pinion style steering. Now since I'm running this style of steering wheel, I'm going to have to run a steering quickener. All we have to do is just weld this thing, make sure everything is good, and this thing should be ripping here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's hope we don't have to use this in the future. We're going to be pretty much replacing all these linkages with a simple steering rack like this. It'd be a lot simpler to put this in the back here, but we wouldn't have enough space for our steering quickener. So I think I'm just going to put this in the front and try to figure something out. Alright guys, so I got everything mocked up. Looks like we're going to have to mount it a tad bit off center because it is hitting the hump on the differential. So about half an inch off center, which shouldn't be a problem. So I went ahead and mocked up the engine and no issues here. Now what I need to do is cut off these upper air mounts and move them up here. It'll also correct the awful suspension geometry, the camber gain. So I'm going to flip these tabs 90 degrees and put them right here. And the goal is just to line them up with this pivot point right here. So yeah. Alright guys, I am glad that I did that because there is no more of that ridiculous camber. Yeah, that should be way better I think. So guys, I was using this steering rack for mock-up. I went ahead and ordered an even smaller steering rack, so just check that out. That's like a micro steering rack. And the eye-to-eye -eye measurement is actually going to be perfect. It lines up exactly with our upper shock mounts. So we should have zero bump steer. Yeah, and then this one we'll just put on our cross guard. I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove this flange and uh, let's hope we don't need it. I, as far as I know, this should work. That's not good.
I figured while the suspension is off, I'm just going to go ahead and weld all these hard to reach spots. Okay, so I'm using these collars and now I'm going to try to build a cage around this pulley. Alright guys, so if crap hits the fan, this little cage is what's going to protect the pulley. There's a very steep or shallow approach angle on this, so if we hit like a rock or something, it should be fine. And uh, I'm not even worried about making this look pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to go ahead and coat this thing in primer.
about 70% together and I just want to show you that the steering indeed works and it works really well. Check this out, we're fully loaded right now. With one hand, uh, going both ways. So it takes about 90 degrees to get to a full lock. And as you can see, that's plenty of angle. We're not limited by anything. But I am worried a little bit about these external master cylinders. And of course, there is zero bumps here in the system. Well, if there is any, we can adjust it out. If we ever want to put some huge tires on here, we can delete the steering quickener and just have a very, very comfortable steering feel. Yeah, it couldn't have turned out any better. So guys, that's all I was able to get done in this video. I actually have a really important business meeting I'm going to have to fly out to. So I think the next part of this will have to be in about two weeks and then I'm hoping to have a uh, Yamaha uh, Cafe Racer vid in between that. So uh, yeah, uh, just please bear with me guys. This thing is getting really close to completion. It's almost there. Of course I have no clue how good that reverse box is going to work with that belt and drive shaft. So we can only hope and pray. But uh, yeah guys, I have to see you in the next video. Stay tuned, peace, and God bless.